Is your next fragrance going to be created completely with artificial intelligence? And if so, would you even care? Going back in fragrance history, a perfumer, often also referred to as the nose, is an expert creating perfume compositions. Sometimes they get a brief from a client or a creative director and try to interpret what is needed to reach the desired result. They can do that because of their fine sense of smell and the skill in producing olfactory compositions. The perfumer is basically an artist who has a deep understanding of the concepts of fragrance aesthetics and who is capable of conveying abstract concepts and moods with their fragrance composition. Most perfumers in the past have learned their craft as apprentices under another perfumer while helping out as a technician who is in charge of actually blending the formulas or as a chemist. These apprenticeships last around three to five years and are typically entered through family connections. The art of perfumery and perfumers themselves has been around just as long as the fragrances themselves. Through hundreds of years of combined experience, it makes them a staple in the creation of an amazing scent that will often last past their own lifetime. But believe it or not, you may be thinking that artificial intelligence and computer science have just started somewhat recently compared to perfumers. However, the basics have been a long time coming. Back in 1637, long before robots were even a feature of science fiction, scientist and philosopher René Descartes pondered the possibility that machines would one day think and make decisions. While he made the mistake of saying that computers and robots would never be able to talk like humans, in many ways he set the stage for the challenge of creating AI. Fast forward to 1966, Eliza gives computers a voice, the world's first chatbot, so to say and a direct ancestor to the likes of Alexa and Siri today. Digital Equipment Corporation's XCON expert learning system was deployed in 1980, and by 1986 it was credited with generating annual savings for the company of $40 million. By 1985, corporations were spending $1 billion per year on AI systems. In 1988, IBM researchers published a statistical approach to language translation. It tackled the challenges of automated translating between human languages. At that point, it was French and English. While editing, I just noticed something. What if in the future we find out that it was exactly this moment in time where the French perfumers f***ed up? Just kidding, back to the video. 1991, the birth of the internet. Obviously a big deal. Computers had been connecting to share data for decades, mainly at educational institutions and large businesses. But the arrival of the World Wide Web was the catalyst for society at large to plug itself into the online world. Within a few short years, millions of people from every part of the world would be connected, generating and sharing data. The fuel of AI. In 1997, Deep Blue defeats the world chess champion Garry Kasparov. 2011, IBM Watson's Jeopardy victory. 2012, the true power of deep learning is unveiled to the world. Computers learn to identify cats. 2015, and machines see better than humans. 2016, AlphaGo goes where no machine has gone before and defeats the world champion in Go. A very complex game that was previously unthinkable for a machine to win over a human. And 2018, self-driving cars hit the road. Now, however, you might think, okay, but what does all that have to do with fragrance? Isn't it impossible for a machine to do creative work, to think and act creatively, come up with new concepts? In recent weeks and months, you might have heard about text-to-image AI systems. Introducing DALI 2 and Midjourney, just to name a few. Here are a couple of examples. Among one of them is the thumbnail for this video. Even this picture of a finger pressing the like button has been created completely with artificial intelligence. Basically what these AIs can do is translate text into imagery. If AI can help anyone to create amazing images, will it make designers soon obsolete? Hmm, okay so far. Now we know the basics. But what about AI in the fragrance industry today?
The history of perfumes is known for very, very slow and few innovations. One might say that the last big leap was in the 1800s when the first synthetic molecules were introduced. Prior to that, only natural ingredients were used and at the time that innovation was pretty much frowned upon. But today, synthetic molecules are used on a regular basis in the fragrance industry, which is a good thing in certain areas. For example, when it comes to reproducing the scent of an animal, Nature is not always better than synthetic, but that's a different conversation for a different video. Back in the day, a perfumer would take weeks to come up with a perfect formula. The notes, countless inspirational thoughts and images, all written on paper, were and still are today believed to be a part of a romanticized creative process. David Apple from Sunrise says that as a perfumer, you want to create something new. The AI helps discover white space. With millions of known formulas that can be fed to the algorithm, the AI can point out never seen before and never smelled before scent profiles that still represent a coherent composition. Finding that white space and creating a scent around it is unique. But how does it all work today in practice? First, the master perfumer points the AI into a creative direction. The computer then generates hundreds and thousands of iterations. The perfumer then interprets these almost like a musician who can read music. The master perfumer can read perfume. Once the selection is narrowed down, the nose refines the formula until they arrive at the final product. The AI can smell yet, but once that step happens, the master perfumers will have to step up their game eventually. So what does the future look like? At least for now, I think that AI is mostly a tool for inspiration and discovery. A better compass, so to say. It still takes a master perfumer to smell, judge and edit the final product to perfection. One interesting fact, however, is that the way you use AI as a tool might become a more important skill than you may think. What do I mean by that? Your creative inputs and the way you whisper your prompts to the AI, meaning how you communicate with the AI and how you prompt it to do what you want, will make a difference in how the computer interprets your request. In the future, maybe there will be a shift completely away from human interactions and I wouldn't be surprised if some projects are already working on that, if not for the novelty factor alone. Sometimes you just need a specific smell that an AI can compose in a much faster time than a human. But when it comes to the world of personal fragrance, the master perfumer still has the last word. What do you think? Would you wear a perfume that's completely created by AI? Or do you feel something would be missing, some sort of human interaction? And how important is that to you? Let's have a discussion in the comments below. And if you enjoyed that type of video, then feel free to spray that like button and check out the others on my channel. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.